uh, since we started on that type of power unit development, Shell has blended and produced more than 200 candidates to be tested and uh, some are tried on our engine. Um, 200 candidates doesn't mean that all of them are a benefit. It means that someone you, you pick up a direction which showing up is not the right one. So we are addressing the following developments, etc. Uh, when I'm saying starting with that was 2012, but this is here, together with Shell, we have been able to introduce four different types of fuel during the entire season, which if you compare to the other competitors, a lot different. The others are, there are manufacturers that are still at the very first one to have kept the fuel the same for the entire season. Other one have just put or uh, bring a, an update during the season. So having ourselves at four developments during the season means that we have done at least four times better in that respect compared to the others. To introduce a new fuel means to, uh, to blend the candidates, to have it available on our facilities in Maranello to check the performance of it on our engine, to pick up what we believe is the best one. By the, by the time you pick it up, you have to need, you need to do the entire calibration of the mapping of the engines, whatever is the usage of the engine itself, low RPM, high RPM, full throttle, open wide throttle, etc. So you need an entire calibration, which costs at least an entire week of activity. So it's not something that you do in a, in a couple of hours. And by the time that you pick up the, the candidates, you calibrate it on, a, on the engine, then you go through what we call the validation of the reliability of the engine. Because obviously you, you can face reliability problems with a new or different type of fuel, because maybe of the heat that can produce internal or to the internal combustion on the valves, on the seat of the valves, on the piston itself, etc. So, and we perform then what we call validation tests to so long run, which are entire simulation. You take an engine brand new, and you simulate the entire life of the engine as it would be at a, at a race distance. So on the dyno, we reproduce an entire lap, we reproduce an entire race, an entire weekend, simulating different types of circuits, which are our reference, and we, we do that for the the entire uh, life of the, of the engine. The normal life of the current power unit is 4,000 kilometers. So we do that for the 4,000 kilometers. The engine is fully disassembled. All the components are checked. That is positive. We repeat it at least twice, maybe three times. And then it means that you are sure that you can run it without any problem. So, so that is costs some time, some effort, resources. And by the time that you are doing that, maybe in parallel, you already pick up another one which could be even better, but then you start uh, the entire process again and you will introduce the first one in the race weekend and maybe three races later you have the second one. Mm -hmm.